Imagine an aircraft that could fly Mach 3 faster than a rifle bullet, travel further than any other military craft, cruise serenely at altitudes never before attempted. Such a plane would capture the high ground over alien nations and look down on them with impunity. But to achieve this dream, Blackbird's designers would have to overcome the objections of the atmosphere. First, the heat. At Mach 3, Blackbird would enter what engineers call the thermal thicket, a zone of speed where temperatures soar 1100 degrees Fahrenheit at the exhaust, 800 at the nose. In extended flight, she would bake for hours at temperatures that would melt a traditional aluminum skin. To combat the heat, the plane's designers would use a rare and unproved alloy, titanium. Titanium could endure the heat, but was it strong enough to survive the stress of supersonic flight? To find out, they baked and stressed the plane in a giant oven at extreme temperatures. The test was reassuring, but how would titanium perform under the actual stress of flight? Test pilot Bob Gilliland. The main concern, at least initially, was that we, this airplane had been built in a brand new metal. We don't, didn't know exactly how strong it'd be. Uh, the designers had not done something right. The tail could come off or something could break and experience a cataclysmic structural failure. So we were worried about that, at least I was, and, the, and I think everybody else was, too. As Gilliland accelerated past Mach 2, friction from the air baked Blackbird's skin. In her wake, the air boiled for 200 yards. Everything's so hot. I remember I used to be able to put my hand up with a gloved hand with uh, multiple layers and rubberized, and I could feel the heat coming in just from the heat of the glass on my hand up there, and so you wouldn't want to touch it. On missions of five hours or more, Blackbird was subjected to what designers call a heat soak. The hot metal expanded, causing her fuselage to grow as much as a foot in length. 